I consider making videos to be more of a sprint as compared to streaming to be more like a marathon. What are some good ways to pace yourself while streaming so you have good energy and not mentally overexert yourself? How do you bounce back from rude comments? How often should I stream? What makes a good stream? How to retain my viewers? And what should I do if I'm not seeing growth? Hey, I'm not gonna lie, these are some good ass questions. Holy shit. What's going on, everyone? My name is Navin. I hope you guys are all having a great day. And recently, over on Twitter, I told you guys to ask me some questions in regards to Twitch. So, in this video, I'm gonna be answering some questions and hopefully you guys enjoy. I consider making videos to be more of a sprint compared to streaming to be more like a marathon. Oh man, where do I start? So, first, I feel like you should consider YouTube to be more of a marathon than a sprint. At any point in time, if you feel like you're streaming and you're not putting enough energy into your streams or that you're exhausted midstream, chances are you're probably streaming too many hours personally i would cut down my hours lower the risk of overly exhausting myself and use those excessive hours to create content on tiktok instagram youtube facebook twitter grow my fan base on those social media platforms and bring that fan base over to twitch especially with how hard it is to grow on twitch as a small streamer yeah just build other platforms bring them over work smarter not hard how do you bounce back from rude comments easy don't listen to them at all. Just understand that if you're ever trying to pursue streaming or content creation as a full-time job, there's always going to be people that dislike you. I believe that at the end of the day, as long as you remember who you are and you know your values, I think you're perfectly fine. They don't know who you are, and at most, they've probably known you for like an hour on Twitch.tv. Like, you can't let that devalue or depict who you are as a human being. And the way I see it, whether it's a troll or someone that genuinely hates my guts and wish death upon me, I can't let their opinions and their beliefs and their comments hinder me from my success. Ignore the people that hate you, focus on the people that love you. I hope that helps moving on oh this one's so good i'm excited to answer this how often should i stream what makes a good stream how do i retain viewers and what should i do if i'm not seeing growth all right let's break this down how often should i stream honestly i say no more than 16 hours a week the reason why i say no more than 16 is just because of twitch's discoverability especially with small streamers i mentioned this a little in the first question but going back on it if you think about it, there's not really that many ways to grow. Yeah, you can play like unsaturated games, but let's be real. There's not that many people that watch unsaturated games. Yes, that's debatable, but the growth isn't as fast. You could play saturated games like Modern Warfare, Fall Guys, Fortnite, and all that stuff, but when you play those games, the games you truly enjoy, the only way to get discovered is through recommendations. And I think it's like, like a one in five chance. Let me double check. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 10 people on your recommendations. That's literally a 10% chance that you'll get discovered when you play a saturated game. Let's be real. For streaming eight to 10 hours a day, it's not worth it. If I continue this Twitch tip series, I will say this in literally every video cut down the amount of hours you have on stream use those extra hours on stream and bring that over to content creation on platforms that's more discoverable like tiktok twitter instagram facebook youtube build a fan base over there and bring that fan base over to twitch and get partnered like that moving on what makes a good stream honestly for me i've been a huge fan of the whole simplistic and professional look at streams i'm a huge fan of reactive overlays and alerts and stuff like that the usage of intermission screens during dead moments of a game such as the pre-game lobby or post games because let's be real no one wants to watch a soldier walk for two minutes straight it's boring that to me is what makes a good stream now if you want to know what makes a good streamer i feel like it's more consistency and interactivity the way you interact with your stream is what sets you apart from other streamers no matter what game you're playing have a consistent schedule so your fan base knows exactly when to expect you and know when you go live instead of just relying on a notification for example personally my viewership and my fan base knows exactly when and when not to expect me they know on monday and fridays i'll be live from 7 a.m to 10 a.m PSD and on Saturdays and Sundays I'm gonna be spending my time making YouTube videos or spending time with family. All right, we are flying past these. Moving on, how to retain viewers. This kind of goes in hand with how to be a good streamer, just interactivity and consistency. And when I say be interactive with your chat, open discussions, even if you're a smaller streamer and you have a dead chat, be interactive, talk to yourself. That's pretty much what you have to do as a streamer. Ask them questions, be open, start a discussion, ask them about their day, talk about your day, Tell your chat what you're gonna be doing today, tomorrow, what you did yesterday. Ask your chat what they did yesterday, what they're gonna be doing tomorrow. Start a discussion, be open, and talk over your gameplay. At any point in time, if you ever find yourself having a dead chat or a dead channel, just understand that it is your job as a streamer to fill that silence and fill that void, not the viewer. So 
show off that personality and have fun with it. Finally, last part, what do I do if I'm not seeing growth? If you're one of those viewers that just followed exactly everything I told you and you're still not seeing growth, take a step back and reflect. Watch your past broadcasts, watch your videos, watch your VODs, reflect, analyze, and view yourself as a creator and as a viewer. Currently, let me show y'all. Currently watching old streams, this one's actually the one from this morning. But yeah, it sounds cringy, but for some reason, I just like watching my old stuff and taking mental notes on ways I can improve my streams. How can I improve on audio? Is my camera placement good? Is my face cam placement good? Am I transitioning at the right time? Am I being more interactive with my stream? Does my stream look like the rest of the streamers? And if so, how can I diversify myself? These are the questions you have to ask yourself every single day. The thing about being a content creator and a streamer is that this isn't a 9 to 5. This isn't something where you start stream, end stream, and immediately after your stream you just stop thinking about it. Content creation and streaming is something that haunts you for the rest of your life. 24 hours a day. That sounded way more harsh than what I meant. Basically, streaming is something that you always have to think about. So long story short, if you followed everything in this video and you're still not seeing growth, take a step back and reflect. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave a like and do all that cool stuff. Feedback is truly, truly, truly appreciated. If you guys know anyone that is an up and coming streamer and would probably appreciate these tips, make sure you send this video their way because it helps both parties. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy, my name is Naveen. I do stream on Twitch every Monday to Friday from 7 a.m to 10 a.m. PST. So if you guys want to check me out live and talk to me, hang out there, ask some questions, want me to play some video games, make sure you tune in. From the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and do all that cool stuff. Feedback is always appreciated. Keep me updated on your journeys with Twitch because I am most certainly fascinated to see where everyone goes in life. But yeah, this is not been saying out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Peace.